spread in. Got my hat on. But it's freezing, so I'm going to go put a woolly hat on. Sorry, Joe. We're now full of diesel. We've got the muck spreader on. Paul's been done a job on this Merlot, so now this is working perfect. And off we go. Getting into the rotten stuff now. Looks like topsoil. Shame it's got a bit of string in there wrapping it. Some of George Eustace's goodness. If only there was uh, another 36 million ton of it each year. Put some road planes in that puddle yesterday. And that was one there. Can't win. Let's put some more in that one. You've heard the saying, time and tide wait for no man. Well, neither does nature. That tree just eating that chain. We won't want that going through the chipper, so it's lucky that someone spotted it and told us that it was there. Andrew's taken off the fertiliser, spread it off the 724. See if you can guess what we're going to put on the back of it next. This is it. 10 for us, 724. Now, is the plough going to make it out of this bend? Yeah, easy. Didn't look like it was going to make it. But it has. Andrew's putting an AB line in the GPS. But before we can start, we're going to have to move this fly tipping. Because I think it'll block the plough. Job for the Merlot, and then uh, get out of the way of the hedge, and it's getting some matches put to it because I'm not paying to get rid of someone else's crap. Set these pins out of here now, so it can rock or turn over. Go around the other side, and then we're going to have to measure. I'm not sure what the furrows are set for because it's very wet. I don't know where it's set for. 14 inch furrows, 12 inch furrows or 16 inch for us or 18 but if it's 12 inch for us that means it'll be 120 inch if it's 14 inch for us it means it'll be 140 inch so we need to plot our bit and, and then dial it in the gps i'll rock it over now there we go ready to plow This is the problem with the big plough, doing the corners. So we're going to just have to back as far as we can and hover that one over the ditch, this back bank, drop the front in and then pull that in as we go. All right, drop the front now and then we'll drop the back when you've gone forwards a bit. Andrew's never used a plough before, that's how young he is. Needs to work out what switches do which. No, no, drop the wheels. Drop the front link, the links. Go back, go back, we'll start again. It's not going deep enough, so I'm going to take some washers out. Wait, I need to drop the back more. That's it now, it's probably a little bit deep at the back, maybe. Considering that's the first bit he's pulled out of, it's actually quite sort of like shorter headland, if you will. It's working out best to turn around now with it against the hedge in the corner. Doesn't look too bad that we've done. Flick it over now to go the other way. Shined up after one pass. I would not like to be at ancient races today. I'm in the cab, I've got it, and it's now roasting. As soon as I get out of the cab, it's absolutely freezing, it's horrible weather. We just snapped this bolt that goes through here because we didn't have it swung over enough and didn't realize. So we tried to press it when it was in the ground and sheared it off. Just gonna strain it in the fly press, if it will. Hopefully it will. Spin it around. Line it up on some blocks, which is difficult with one hand. And then, let it fly down. And then 
Oh, yep, just going. Mike's looking at himself on the birthday bumper. Yeah. Oh yeah, Linda's on there as well. Wow. You missed it, you missed it, there's a picture of you. Oh my God, look what I see it is. Hang on. No, 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 there's your picture of you, look. Hey. There he is, ladies. Mike Parry, 40 and a day. Don't forget, find him on Instagram, link below. Single. After a little bit of teething trolls, we're getting there now. Um, it didn't seem to want to plough properly on the back four for us. But it ploughs okay in one direction, but not in the other. We thought we could do it on GPS, but that's not particularly working either. But yeah, that front four is not taking much of a bite in this direction, but in the other direction it takes loads. And it's not particularly level. But we did snap that chain before, so I think we stretched it now. Tractor's actually only on tick over pulling it. There's squeak coming out of one of the wheels, it's going to be a Andrew's obviously got the GPS working now because that looks really, really straight. And I've parked in his way. Yeah, when we snapped that before, I think we've stretched that nearly where we have. And um, it's not wanting to plough all the way that way, and that's why this other furrow can go around this side. See how they're all shiny now, going that way. Well, that one's not because it's not really getting much of a bite. So I think. We'll try tightening the ch chain the other side and see if that'll pull it over a bit to give that more bite because it'll swing it that way. Get some spanners. We've adjusted the turnbuckle now, see if it pulls it over a little bit. I don't know whether it will or not because it was quite tight. No, it's still not ideal. Still only taking a little bite that one compared to the rest. Let's see if we can get a slow motion anyway. You see how the front one flicks it out a little bit off the top, the trash throws that in the bottom of the trench, and the rest of it ends all the black soil rolls over the top of it. The trash and the weed seeds are hopefully in the bottom of the butter. Got slow mowing now. Like one, two, three, and then that's only taking like a small four of that front one. It's pretty straight though, but we reckon that's the GPS because he's not got his hands on the steering wheel. See there, it's ploughed a bit of clay up though, a bit of orange where it's gone a bit deep. Get a video from this angle now. Again, tractor's on tick over, no problem. It's really like therapeutic watching a plough work, to be honest. That one's not going in quite deep there. Look at that, sweet corn. Didn't even grow in this field. We grew it right, right over there. Some bird or something's carried it over. You've heard of bed head. Well, I've got hat head. Because I've been taking it on and off that many times a day. I'm now on the fast track, spreading the last load of muck because we left it on the spreader while we had our dinner. Then we decided to come out playing with the plow. I just need to set the revs and then put it into manual mode, which I think is that one, is that right? Yeah, there we go. So I can now rev it up on the hand throttle. 
can't remember where it is, in here, which is down there. And then, why is it saying PDO over speed? I think it's only 657. It's a thousand speed, this machine. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go, we've built it up now, about that. Then I can go forwards now with the joystick. Get out of Andrew's way, and you can see these behind me. I'll turn the bed on for the spreader. We've got that spill there. And then we've got muck now flying out the back. As you can see, Petta in the mirror. So there you go, there's muck flying out the back, and there's a 724 with the plow on also in the mirror. just coming along and plowing it in. Capturing all that goodness, no ammonia giving off either then. Just jumped out to get a picture and a video. We're putting a layer of muck on now. Back. Old sunflower heads, but like bones and skulls. Just gonna fly across the field a bit where I've not spread, get my wheels clean, ready for going on the road. Andrew's done quite a bit of it. Now, obviously, it takes a long time to turn around for 10 for a plow. So it probably nearly would be as a quick with a five for it because it's such a small field. But equally, that plow had really good metal on it and cost less than a five for it would have cost, and it looks cool. And when we get time, we'll try it on some of the other tractors as well. So we could put it on the big case, we could put it on a quad track when I eventually can afford one, and we could put it on the uh, maybe Andrew's 4955, uh, maybe not the 1690, it's not heavy enough. But we can definitely have a plow bit on some other tractors, including the 936. With Hat's head, here's today's birthday bumper. So we've got Luke Jones, Margaret Almond, George Daniel, and Steve Barrett. And John Wilkinson is still on the 84, but we think there might be someone that's 89 watching as well, because I got a message about that, but I've forgotten the name, so I'm really sorry about that. So otherwise I would have put you on, just because I think you may be the oldest watcher. Also, uh, a lot of names that seem to go on the birthday bumper are female that's good because it means that there are females that actually watch i was worried that i might have upset you all yesterday talking about the discussion society um so i don't know whether they watch with the partners or they watch on their own but but obviously some females do still watch the channel so thanks for that and if you want leave a comment then you can get stalked by the other farmers that watch as well and if you're single as well don't forget to find mike because he was here today with his mate zero in his air rifle so that is all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow